how money is made, modern money printing technology. In order to produce current US paper money, a team of highly trained and professional craftspeople, specialized equipment, and cutting-edge printing procedures are all involved in the intricate process. To make counterfeiting more difficult, new designs for denominations of $5 to $100 employ comparable portraits and historical pictures. But with modest background colors, two numeric watermarks on $5 bills, an illuminated improved security thread, microprinting, and color shifting ink on the new $100 banknotes are just some of the safety features that have been incorporated into the notes. 7 Basic Steps to Making Paper Money Making paper money is a complex procedure. Most of the steps are designed to make the money difficult to counterfeit. Number 1. Specially Formulated Paper and Ink Currency paper manufactured by the Bureau of Engraving and Printing BEP consists of 75% cotton and 25% linen, with the security thread and watermark included into the paper itself. There is a color shifting ink in the lower right corner of $10 to $100 bills and metallic ink on the freedom icons on $10, $20 and $50 bills on all US paper money's backs. $100 bills have a color changing bell in the ink wheel, symbol to symbolize liberty. Number 2. Offset Printing Technique Offset printing is the initial step in the production process for notes with subtle background colors of $5 and higher. Exposure to ultraviolet light is used to transfer the image of the colorful background design from a film negative to a thin steel printing plate with a light-sensitive coating. Burning a dish, as the phrase goes, background colors are printed on BEP's high-speed rotary simulton machines, which are state-of-the-art. By passing through rubber blanket cylinders, Ink is transferred from printing plates to paper and then printed on with a printing press. Before continuing, the printed sheets must be allowed to dry for a full 72 hours. Number 3. Intaglio Printing Techniques Portraits, vignettes, scrollwork, numerals, and typography are printed in intaglio. From the Italian word intaglio, meaning cutting or engraving, it refers to the act of carving a design into steel dies. Engravers are professionals in portrait and vignette work, as well as lettering and script. Sidereography assembles and transfers images on a printing plate. An inked plate is a pressed against an engraved plate. After a wiper removes all leftover ink, only the recessed image area has ink. Prints are formed by pushing paper forcefully against a printing plate forcing ink from the plate's recessed regions onto the paper. Back of US banknotes are printed on a high-speed sheet-fed rotary intaglio press. The back printed sheets must cure for 72 hours before transferring to the face intaglio press. Color shifting ink is used for the border picture and treasury signatures on $10 and higher denomination banknotes, while metallic ink is used for the freedom icons on $10 $20 and $50 bills. Number 4. USCIS Linspectio USCIS Inspection System, United Nations Organization for International Cooperation in Science and Technology. In order to completely analyze and assess untrimmed printed sheets, the BEP has created an upgraded offline currency inspection system, UOCIS, which incorporates computers, cameras, and sophisticated software. This technology checks for accurate color registration and ink density, and it can determine if a sheet is suitable or has to be thrown in less than 3 over 10 of a second if it is not. The same equipment is used to trim and cut 32 subject sheets in half, resulting in two 16 subject sheets per sheet. The sheets are then moved to the final printing stage, which is finished by the BEP's currency overprinting process equipment and packaging system. Cope, pack, Co pack. Number 5. Serial numbers and seals are over inspection. The treasury seal and serial numbers are letterpress printed on the bills. Overprinting the co pack with the two serial numbers, the black Federal Reserve seal, the green treasury seal, and the Federal Reserve identification numbers. 16 serial numbers are printed. 
the press then prints the next page of 16. Each page has 20,000 numerals. So the first sheet's upper left bill is 0000001. 000 the next 0020001 and so on. To make the second sheet, all numerals advance by 1, resulting in 0000002 at the top and 0020002. The bills in each stack will have sequential serial numbers. Machine sensors look for printing errors, folded papers, external objects and other faults. Defective banknotes are discarded. The star builds feature a separate serial number and a star following it. Number 6. Trimming and removing excess material A piece of the 16 unique stacks of 100 bills is created by cutting the sheets with a vertical guillotine knife, which is arranged in stacks of 100 bills each. Note that the notes are left in pairs after the first horizontal cut, whereas the second vertical cut results in individual finished notes. At this point, any bills that have been discovered as faulty are replaced with star notes. Number 7. Packaged in bubble wrap and delivered to the Federal Reserve System. After that, a paper brand is wrapped around the stacks of $100. The banded stacks are subjected to a final visual check before being shrink-wrapped in plastic in groups of 10 stacks to protect them from damage. Four of these 10 stack bundles are then tied together to make a brick which is then distributed to the various Federal Reserve Banks and other governmental agencies. Quality Control Money demands high quality control criteria. Money with flaws cannot be circulated. Aside from the numerous inspections that place throughout the printing process, the raw materials are also thoroughly inspected before usage. Color Viscosity, which is thickness and other characteristics are evaluated. The paper is made in a secret, closely controlled manner by one company. Various qualities of the papers are assessed. Anyone else can't make or own this paper. Durability tests are performed on the completed bills. Some bills are washed to test color fastness, while others are rolled into a cylinder and crushed on end to test handling resistance. A bill can be folded and crumbled 4,000 times before it needs to be replaced. Destruction of paper money. Despite using high-quality paper and inks, a $1 note in circulation has an 18-month lifespan. Some denominations last longer. Bills that are damaged, ripped, or worn beyond recognition are removed from circulation and sent to the Federal Reserve Banks for shredding. It's used to manufacture roofing shingles and insulation. Damaged or faulty money is shredded in Bureau of Engraving and Printing Sites. Future U.S. currency has a bright future. To debtor counterfeiting, Treasury began manufacturing $100 bills with new front and back designs and security features in 1996. The new banknotes are identical in size and color. Due to duplicability, multicolor images like those on European banknotes were not used. However, it is now larger and shifted to the left on the new $100 bill. When the banknote is held up to the light, the watermark shows a second image of Franklin. Fine lines encircle Franklin's head in the front and Independence Hall in the back. Sadly, copiers and printers can't duplicate these delicate lines without blurring them. USA 100 appears within the left-hand numeral 100, and United States of America runs down Franklin's coat's lapel. The digit in the lower right uses a color-shifting ink. The ink appears green from the front but black from the side. New $100 security features will appear on lesser denomination bills but not all. This is because $100 bills are the highest denomination issued. Another common counterfeited currency is the euro. Some planned new money security methods like holograms, polymeric films, and coded fiber optics were not adopted due to technical issues. Paper money may be replaced by electronic money downloaded from an ATM or a computer. Each card has a computer chip and money is sent electronically via a card reader. What do you think about our list? Let us know in the comments box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.